Hello everybody, my name is Radishist. Welcome to Sonic Adventure 2. The game... We're in space now, in case you didn't know. Um, yeah. So, how's it going? I haven't recorded this game in a while. Uh, since 2015 to be exact. As I commentated in the last session. Um, so yeah trying to get back into the swing of things, despite school messing with all my shits. Because, you know, I like doing YouTube stuff. Especially games like Sonic. I really like playing this game on the channel. Like this and uh, Minecraft. Those are fun to do. Um, I still have to record more Minecraft, though. I'm trying to do a lot of planning for what will be in the later episodes since... Just doing things like mining is a little boring. Uh, we don't want that. So I'm trying to like plan out like castle designs and placements and whatever. And then I'll probably just end up recording that. Then counting it as like a part of the episodes. I think that'd be pretty neat. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do like anything off screen yet, as far as I know. Um But I may end up doing something if uh, it's a big deal or whatever. What else was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, I, I don't have much else to say about Minecraft, but anyway, Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, still no Chow Garden stuff, this session at least, probably, because I still have to plan out more of that, but I'll probably be completing the hero story in, during this session. I think it'll just be like two episodes long. This episode and the next episode, which should be the last of the hero story. Ouch, I walked right into that. Oh my god, again. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Bam. Jump on this. There we go. But, uh, probably, what episode will it be? If this episode is 7, next is 8, so probably by episode 9 we'll start doing Chow Garden stuff. That's what I think. Um, if we don't, then that, that, that would suck, but, yeah. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, still rusty, as you would say. I remember watching Peabat's playthrough of Sonic Adventure 2. He always had a shit ton of trouble against that guy. I thought that was pretty silly to watch. So I guess maybe I'll experience something like that for myself. Trying to fight the guy. Or whatever. There we go. But yeah, um, the hero story has... I think it's 16 missions, and then Dark Story has 14. So it's... It'd just be like one episode less than the Hero Story. But anyways... Still pretty cool. I have no idea what else to say. God damn. Maybe you should just... Maybe, maybe I should just record more. If I say things like, maybe you should just record more and, you know, talk to myself. Because I guess I do that sometimes. Like, I don't really pay attention to what I'm talking about most of the time, because it seems pretty normal when I'm listening to it back in editing, but sometimes I do things like talk to myself, and I guess it's a little weird. Alright. Shoot the fat guy. Oh no, don't break that. Okay. Upgrade. So this is the bazooka. Let's you break steel containers. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna fall to my death there. That would have been awfully shitty placement. Don't know why I broke that. Oh my god, I didn't even get a chance, man. He just whacked me right out the door. Alrighty. 
But anyways, uh, Seamus started uploading lately, and I think that's pretty cool, although he hasn't played many games that I actually care about. But then again, I haven't really cared about many of the games that came out during 2015. And even the ones I have, I doubt he would play. Crap. It's hard to name them off, though. Like, mostly just crappy indie games and whatever. But, uh, I've been watching some Let's Plays lately. Uh, I got, I got back into watching the Game Grumps again. Just because, why not? I needed something to watch, and they're always... They're uploading daily, so why not? There we go. Don't die here, man. <laughs> Look at all those ones, man. Don't worry about jumping off. You have a little hover. If you died at the very end, that would be awful. Probably wouldn't want to play anymore. Great. Bum, 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 bam. Bop. I gotta do better oh. next time. Whatever, man. Do do. All right, what's up, diggity dog? Um, you you know how in that last stage we got that. The thing that breaks the steel container as well. Guess what? We had to use it today to get another cool thing in Prison Lane, Stage 3. Um, so yeah, we're, we're just going to play through the whole stage, and I might as well commentate over it, because why not? Um, you're probably going to be doing the same if you're using this as like a walkthrough. I've pretty much been playing this as if it were a walkthrough, which I think is pretty cool. Rather than just being like a lame playthrough. Because this is a game I know a lot about. Like, uh, this... And Skyrim are games I know a lot about, so I probably want to do like walkthroughs with them, just so I can, you know, have something that isn't a playthrough, I guess, and to also make the game look cooler. Right. So, but the thing we need is at the very end of the stage, so no worries about like missing it or anything. You only miss it if you rush through like the very end and hit the goal point, but. You probably wouldn't hit the goal point if you knew you didn't have the thing you needed. Probably. I don't know who you are. There was this one anime I was watching where there was this guy who could, like... He saw, like, whatever you call them, microbes or whatever. But they were, like, little cute anime things. Cute chibi whatevers. I forgot what it's called. I'll put it on the screen right now. But I watched through a little bit of that, and I think it's pretty cool. I'll have to get back to watching it again at some point, though. What other animes can I talk about? Uh, Lucky Star, that's a cool one. I, w I watched through all of that. Super cool stuff. It's, uh, it's one of those slice-of-life animes, which I like. And, uh, it's just really cool, man. Also, I've been- it's not an anime, but I've been watching a lot of Steven vlog lately. Steven- Steven plays Steven George, you know that guy. I've been watching a lot of his stuff lately. Just because I didn't have much else to listen to, and I like listen to his stuff. Okay, here's here's where the thing is. At the goal point, you just kill all the dudes. The gate opens. Obviously, you don't you don't have your treat yet, so you got to go up here and shoot the guy in the back corner. You'd remember him from episode two, I think. Then you can just go through here and grab the laser blaster. No idea what that does. Alrighty. Now, now, now in this part where we're going to be getting the Mystic Melody. Which I'm pretty sure I said we'd be getting the Mystic Melody in the last part, but it was actually a different thing. Because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But yeah, we're getting the Mystic Melody for real this time. So just, you know, play through the stage normally. And then you'll get to the point that I mentioned in whatever episode that was. With the steel containers on the wall. It's pretty straightforward. You just play through the stage and then... Let's see. Down here, I think it is. Yeah, steel containers. You break them. You hop in. Don't die there. Then you get the Mystic Melody, and with this Mystic Melody, you can sing to statues. Then stuff happens sometimes. Also, if you're curious if you can, like, leave the level, like, right after you grab the thing, yes, you can. That'll, that'll work just fine, so, you know, leave the level. Yeah. 
And sorry, Space Colony Arc. Candy Countdown, 45 minutes. Okay, Sonic. Now put that emerald. <laughs> Tails. Tell Sonic to meet you back at the research facility. Sorry, Amy is. I, I didn't get that, Tails. What happened to Amy? Tails. Wait, what? Wasn't it just 45 minutes? What the fuck? Uh, I have no idea what just happened there. Didn't that just say 45 minutes and then it said an hour? Was that supposed to happen? And it seemed like the cutscene just cut off randomly there. Okay, I have no idea what's happening. You're probably going to be missing a few cutscenes and everything will be confusing, but... Whatever. It's fine. I think. Anyways, this is Meteor Herd. Probably one of the coolest stages in the game. Because uh, you're in space as Knuckles. But anyways, walk over to this rock right here. Um, it'll be on a separate platform. There we go. You have to like run into it and punch it. And then this wall will break and you break this container and then you hit the switch. Then that middle thing opens and it's like, ooh, but you can't go through. There's red lines there, so you have to go up and over. And then you jump in the middle, which was now opened by your genius. Once that's done, you just jump down, grab the sunglasses. Then with the Y button, which is... What is the Y button? Bam. You can look at things that weren't previously there. So you can get like secrets and stuff. And they go away when you jump. So you don't need to like go toggling back through it. But anyways, it forces you to actually use it here. So you can hop on the spring. But yeah, there are hidden things like springs that are... That require you have the sunglasses to be able to use them. Computer, give me the details. Near moon with floating with with a rotating beacon. Okay. That's probably upwards, since that's where all the moons are. Uh, and also this level takes like a long time to go through, so it's like really cool to explore it. There's the whole bottom area, the side areas, the middle areas, the top areas. Super cool. Cooler than Pumpkin Hill in my opinion. Between the inverted blue tower or something something. And also the music is cool. Which is cool. Cool, cool, cool. So what was it? Near moon with a rotating beacon. Between the inverted blue tower and the steel tower on the ground. Steel tower. I see no steel towers. I see blue towers that are inverted. Let's just wander around for a bit. Whoosh. This way? Nope. Is it a bit up higher? I think it's higher. Alright. Oh, now the computer. On a square stone platform with one rotating beacon. Let's uh, see if we can get up there. Pop. Oh no, I should have toggled this to fall down first. Hit me. There we go. Yeah, this should be it. Wrecked. Oh, it's goddamn it's in plain sight. Oh, there's a moon. What was? Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, there's a computer back there. I should have checked it. Bam. Black boxes on the black platform. Cool. Black, black. I think that's actually a bit lower. I may have passed that. Okay, I didn't mean to fall there, but whatever. You might as well look down here. Although it would be better to like go upwards and see if there's anything up there before jumping down. 
because it's a lot easier to just jump down than to go down then all the way back up. Since you're already in the middle part, I guess. God damn it, it's in a high place. Of course. Also, sorry if the mic audio seems a bit quiet. I was looking at it in the recording and it seemed a bit quiet, but I can probably just up it in editing. Nice. Okay, where are we? High place, black platform. Bop. My sound effects, my mouth sound effects are like way off sync with the actual game. So, yeah. Don't, don't worry, like my mic is off sync with the video, it's just fine. Probably, I don't know. Um, speaking of syncing, earlier I was trying this thing in DX3 where it's able to record your mic audio on the same, you know, like, file as the video. Um, so I tried that out, but for some reason my mic audio isn't picking up, so that's a shame, but if I could get it to work, I'd imagine that it'd, like, already have your mic synced up to everything, and it would be really cool, and probably much easier overall. But, I can't figure it out. Maybe another time. And I'll probably just do like a test video for it. Also, speaking of test videos... Um... I was trying out a 60fps test video. But, I still can't figure out what the problem is with it. Like, what's... Not getting it to work. Like, I tried lowering all of the, uh... The, the quality of everything to very low. In my recording. But still, it wavers at around like 40 FPS and even below 30 sometimes. And it also locks my video FPS to the same as the recording FPS, which I guess isn't so big of a deal. Is that where the thing is? What am I looking for, man? Is it above it? Under? Oh! Try digging while watching the stars. Hey. I found but yeah, if I if I could ever get 60 FPS to working, that'd be like one of the coolest things ever. But I think I have to upgrade my recording, whatever's, <laughs> which I'll never tough. figure out how to do. Well, I don't know why I'd say I'd never figure it out. I'll figure it out at some point. But anyways, yep. <laughs>